Okay, so this is transforming sine waves. Now they've given us this this uh, function here, and they've asked us what is the amplitude. So, as we know, we need to try to find the amplitude, which is how high it goes above the equation of the axis. Now, if I were to draw a normal sine wave, sorry about the drawing, it would go like this, with this point being 1, and this being negative 1. Now, if I'm translating this function using this, like using these translations, that negative 10 A value means that this will go like, it'll be the same except it'll go up like this. So this will still be moving 90 degrees over, just like this 90 degrees, except this will now be 10, and that will be negative 10. And for this one, the equation of the axis has changed in both as it's been moved down 10. So this would be negative 10. So it would be starting from negative 10. Would, that would be the equation of the axis when this equation of the axis is 0. But the amplitude won't change. So in the original sine function here, the amplitude is 1 because it goes up 1 and down 1. And here, using this value here, it's only going up 10 and then down 10. So, therefore, using this function here, looking at this, the amplitude of this translated function, the amplitude will be equal to 10, because it's now going up 10 and down 10 instead of 1. That is transforming sine waves about the amplitude.